Hi there, it's TR for Stagecoach Road Sewing. Today I've got for you a nice Sew More made in Japan. Basic class 15 machine with some really nice uh, decal patterns along here. It's in really good shape. A few dings out of the paint on the bed. You know, it's an older machine. This one's probably from the late 50s. These type of machines were very popular. If you're looking for a good, sturdy, basic, forward and back, heavy old sewing machine, this might just be the one for you. Here's the foot controller here. I've already got the light turned on. There's a light, light switch there. I'm going to wind a little bit of bobbin thread right now, show you how that goes. Just a little bit for the demonstration. Let's just do it like that. If you wanted to wind a full bobbin, it would click off when your bobbin was full. So convenient. You can also wind a bobbin while you're sewing by having an extra spool of thread down here going to the automatic winder. Let's thread the bobbin case. Class 15 bobbin case. Just put it in like that. Pretty basic. Close your latch. Stick it down in there and the little thumb hits the little uh, latchy thing. Leave your thread hanging down. Close this slide plate. Now let's thread the top. This machine does have a couple of really neat features in addition to just being a good old class 15. There we go. We do it again. Goes around the discs, over the bar, and under that spring, just like so. Take up lever all the way to the top. And through this little, did that be pretty engraving on the faceplate there. Right through that. And the needle threads from left to right on this machine. Needle goes in with its flat side facing the pillar. Let's raise the bobbin thread. Turn the wheel towards you, always towards you, on this type of machine. Pull up that bobbin thread and we're ready to sew. Let's try a piece of basic denim here. Some good stuff. Pull the pressure foot. Where's the tension? Well, let's see. Let's just try it about there. And there's stitch length, long stitch. Shorter stitch, reverse. And there we go. And nice stitch there. Big old hand wheel on that one. And stitching. Decent looking there. machine has really great forward and reverse. I've just been doing some stitching on a piece of denim here. So walk right up over that big layers. Not a problem there. So if you're sewing uh, costumes, regalia, making quilts, pretty good heavy duty. I would recommend this for really good heavy duty basic sewing machine. Um, it'll do leather. Let's put some leather in there. A piece of leather. Garment leather that's bonded. This is an old leather jacket here. Put it on a long stitch. Hold your threads to get started. And make sure. I might want to 
want a little heavier pressure for that. Let's go up here. Yeah. Check this out. Say you want to do free motion embroidery. You can release the pressure, drop the feed, and Camera's wobbling here. You're, you're controlling the movement of the machine here. This is really great for outline quilting or mending or that kind of thing. And it's so easy to get in and out. Oh, that's a little thread tail there from the beginning. But you could. See what I'm saying? You can just follow that around. So let's raise the feed back up again. Put the pressure back down. And let's just fold that guy over for fun. Stick it in there. Yeah, we're back to regular. Alright, we're sewing just like that. Right up over those seams. So this really excellent, basic, sturdy, sew more class 15 sewing machine. Straight stitch, forward and back, one amp motor, built in light comes with a case, but it would be even cooler if you mounted it in a cabinet. Those are available at most thrift stores for around $10 or $15. Um, this would be a great machine for you. We'd love to see it be yours. Contact us and we'll tell you how.